Free speech for everyone, right? So you may not like what some people say, you may hate what some of our opponents say, but we've got to hear it, we've got to thrash it out because we're all adults and we can cope. And actually, when we think of the best of our fellow citizens, that we can win them over to the arguments with the virtues of our reason and compelling arguments, maybe we won't win them. Maybe we'll win over someone that's listening, that's not arguing. But I tell you what is infectious, <laughs> freedom. And the idea that we can make judgments and decisions and that we're grown up and we can have autonomy and choice and sometimes we might lose. And that's the thing about history, it's not guaranteed. But this experiment that we're all part of, and it is an experiment because you can go to different places around the world and we'll get a knock on the door for speaking uh, like this. This experiment is just that, right? It's not... Uh, God given, I mean, whatever your thoughts are on that. It's something that is always has to be struggled for. And we stand on the shoulders of many giants, people like William Tyndale. We're not going to be tortured or burnt at the stake, but people are being cancelled. People are having their lives ruined and people are being both imprisoned and threatened with imprisonment. And some others are not. And it's not that the others that are not should be, but the public can see a lot of this. And we need to be really robust and go out and win our fellow citizens, our friends, our neighbors, colleagues, family, and people who disagree with us. We need to be strong and confident and give a lead and say we can talk and calmly, rationally, and we believe that freedom is the way and we show that way. And that's something we're really passionate about. And on that note, because it will lead to everything that we do in all our campaigning, whether it's about carers or farmers or drivers or just citizens more broadly, we've got to be able to speak freely. Now, people will have seen uh, what happened with Bernie Spofforth, many of them. Whatever you might think about what Bernie wrote, whether she should have done or shouldn't have done or any of that, we're seeing certain instances where the police are turning up at people's houses, they're being threatened with several years, two years she was threatened with imprisonment. We're seeing, as Baroness Fox actually said on the news recently, uh, a, a situation where it's madness on steroids in terms of the response to it, for some people. Not if you happen to be the chief executive of Hope Not Hate. And again, it's not what I want to see. It's not what I want to see.